here we go. We're going to cycle from Urala, which I'm leaving right now, out to Walker today. You can hear me. The wind is blowing quite hard. It's supposed to be a westerly wind, which is, as far as I'm aware, coming from behind me. Um, certainly feels like it's coming in front of me at the moment. But yeah, it's good to be out on the road. Yeah, I'm doing a bike check just to make sure things are okay. Let me talk you through the bike. So we've got a Kona Sutra 2021 on the back. We've got a pair of Ortlieb back roller 3.1s. Um, there's a Van Gogh tent. Then on top, I've got a solar panel. Uh, the solar panel is charging a battery of brick that's inside. Cockpit is very simple. Uh, top handlebar bag, phone attached. And then down the front, a couple of the smaller Ortley pannier bags. The one on the left hand side has got all my cooking stuff in it. The one on the right hand side has got my clothes in it. So part of the reason for cycling from Urala rather than the other way is that fundamentally it's downhill. It's a thousand meters of descent. Now, having said that, there's two and a half thousand meters of ascent and three and a half of down. And this is one of the ups. But for every up, there's a down. And there's more downs than ups. It's time to stop for a drink. Um, first 25k is done. It's still blowing its tits off out here, so it's windy coming in from the side mostly so it's not too bad it's not a headwind but it's certainly not a tailwind it was promising but overall yeah pretty good so far that's typical New South Wales country road it's long it's straight it undulates a bit um, basically all day I'm going uphill so here's my version of happiness I'm 10 kilometers from Walker so I've done the majority of the cycling for the day. I'm at the high point of the whole trip as well. So, um, 1,100, 1,200 meters. And by the end of this week, we'll be down at sea level. So there's a fair bit of descent. There's some, there's some pretty nasty hills to get over um, between here and the sea, but the majority of the uphill is done here. But uh, yeah, happiness is a camping chair on the side of the road, letting the world go by. Fundamentally, the road is now starting to fall away from me. Hopefully, downhill all the way to Walker. Yahoo! Look at this old place. Probably one of the first settlers. It looks really old. 50 signs can mean only one thing that we're coming into Walker. another nice simple working town very small very pleasant very happy people lots of artwork very pretty place so this is my accommodation for the evening the Walker Caravan Park Very cold last night. Uh, I think by four o'clock in the morning it was three degrees and it said felt like none. So very cold but tent was good, mat was good, sleeping bag was good. Got quite a bag reference today. I've checked, I've stopped, I've looked, can't see what it is. I guess I'll live with it for the moment said that I'd reached the high point of the entire trip. That wasn't correct. Today we'll go up to 1,300 meters. Um, 
in, I don't know, 20 kilometers or so. And then from there on, then it's downhill most of the way. There's a few lumps and bumps on the way, but the next two and a half days, we're going down to sea level over a hundred kilometers or more. So it should be good. Between Walker and Nowen Dock, it's um, 70 kilometers, 69 and a bit, 70 kilometers. Um, it's a fairly busy road, but there's no cafe, petrol station, rest stop, tap, or anything you need to bring, if you're cycling, everything for the day. Oh yeah, as the road drops away, very nice little respite after all these hills. Check what that interminable squeaking is, it's the uh, front rack. One of the uh, pieces on it is just slightly loose. It's just making it move a tiny bit, which is making it go squeak, 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 squeak. So I've stopped, gonna have some lunch, fix it up first, have a little rest, and then on we go. At some point, these roads can't go up anymore. You've gotta reach the top. I hope I'm getting there soon. Well, I'm almost at the escarpment, but as far as I'm aware, I think there's a couple more little stings in the tail. Uh, a couple of very steep climbs. And I can see one of them right ahead. G'day cows. Another up behind me. I think I've got another one like that in five kilometers and then we're done for the day. Then we're downhill all the way to Nowendock. Actually, you reach a place which is 1,330 meters high. And that means everywhere else around here is below it. So from now on for the rest of the day, I believe it should be downhill all the way. what we've been working for. I'm doing about 50 at the moment. I was doing nearly 60, but I, I can't hold the camera when I'm, doing, when I'm doing 60. But this is about 50. Fantastic. I don't know if this will show it, but these cows are completely mad. They're running along beside the fence, trying to keep up with me. It's our turn off for the evening, now and off. in the country here so these boys are up and down this road all the time so this is where I stayed last night it was really nice that is the most comfortable bed man has ever made last night I slept really well the night before I don't think I slept at all so yeah I feel much better today the original plan today was to go down to Gloucester, which is about another 80 kilometres, 1,200 metres of climbing. Uh, it's too much for me. So I'm going to go to Britai Reserve, which is about halfway. As far as I'm aware, this is the worst hill of the day. And currently on my commute, it's saying it's 11% the bit I'm going through now. now I'm walking it because too old, too fat, too unfit to be able to do it any other way. 11%, but I think I'm halfway up. When I'm at the top, I think that's the worst hill done for the day. So things start to get easier from now on, I hope. Now there we are, we're at the top. Um, I know there's a couple more short, sharp pigs to go through, but I believe that's the worst hill done. So now we're up in the state forest working forest lots of wood trucks but uh, beautiful part of the world very cool quite cold 
This is Jiro State Forest. Oh yeah, here we go. You know, I think GoPros have a tendency to flatten these hills, so you might not be able to tell, but that is just a wall. I think it's 11% again, maybe 12. It's just massive. I believe there's a good view at the top. You know, that's what I've just come up. Pretty brutal, but almost at the top now of another one. Well, that's two of the four big sets of hills that I've got over already today. So two more to go, but downhill for quite a way now. Three quarters of the way up the hill, decided to stop. My ankles are hurting from all the walking I've been doing today. I know I should be cycling, but it's, it's hard. And uh, yep, yeah, decided to have a big long rest. Uh, it's about at the right side of the road, that's where the traffic going by. It's about 2Ks to the top of this hill and um, big lookout, then, then it's an epic, epic downhill. So we'll see how we go. So after much effort, I have now reached what's called Pioneer Lookout and it is absolutely stunning. reason for this sign yeah 12% 8% and then 12% so I've got six kilometers of downhill the cars are told to go slow through here so uh, yeah Ooh. I think it's gonna be pretty tough the reason why you're not getting video of me going down the hill which you know people have kind of expect I would imagine is because I haven't got a chest strap with me because of all the other equipment I've got and it's yeah, it's just too dangerous. This is really steep and I've been riding the brakes all the way down. They're still doing nearly 60. And off the steep part now, we're down in the valley and it's just gorgeous through here. Why we ride. Could it get any prettier than this? the source of our fire, the mountains are light. You're home for this evening, the Britai Camping Reserve. With a tinge of sadness that I make my camp at Britai tonight. Um, this is going to be my last night. Um, it's been an epic trail but from here on there's more rolling hills. They are monstrous things to get up and down. Well worth it if you've got the fitness, if you've got the capability, you go for your life and you go and do it. Instead I'm going to conclude my tour here. It's been really good fun. I've really enjoyed it. I'm exhausted. Um, but it's been well worth every pedal stroke and every every inch. The love that we once made.